Well, Peter Medawa, um, first of all, was interested in transplantation, um, skin transplantation. He was asked by the Medical Research Council to look into the possibility of transplanting foreign skin to badly burnt airmen. These grafts were destroyed very quickly in a matter of 10 days or, or so. And then when a second graft from the same donor was transplanted to the same patient, it was rejected much more quickly. And so they established that skin graft rejection is immunological. And then Medawa went to, back to the lab in Oxford. A Scottish agriculturalist had asked him to, to try and devise a method for distinguishing between cattle twins, which were fraternal twins, and identical twins. Peter said, be easy. If they're identical, they'll accept each other's skin grafts. If they're not identical, they'll reject each other's skin grafts. Lo and behold, all the cattle accepted the skin grafts. The exchange of red blood cells, precursor cells, in these twins had caused some kind of tolerance or unresponsiveness, which led to the acceptance of skin grafts. We then devised methods of inducing tolerance experimentally in, in mice and chickens, and showed that, by the, that if you inject living cells from a foreign donor into a late mouse embryo, or even a a newborn mouse injected intravenously with living cells from a foreign donor and then tested that same animal with a skin graft from that same donor, cell donor, later in life, the skin graft would be accepted. That encouraged people to start looking for ways to manipulate um, the immune response of adults because an adult immune response is fully formed, much more difficult to manipulate. Peter Medwa laid down the foundations of modern transplantation immunology, undoubtedly.